so I totally couldn't help myself. I've gone and bought the Radio Shack 4x4 off-roader. I had this exact toy when I was a kid and it was by far and away my favourite toy. And to be honest I'm pretty excited that I've got one sitting on my bench now because mine was long gone. It's in pretty good condition, it's quite dirty though um, and it's not functioning. But otherwise it's just dirty. So the plan for this bad boy is modern electronics, nothing too fancy um, and basically keep the outside of it as stock looking as possible. They're such a cool looking little truck. Honestly, toy makers today need to take a leaf out of the book of um, manufacturers of this guy 30 years ago because they knew how to make a good truck and I think the fact that they're so popular on eBay at the moment just goes to show that they, they really got it right back then so the plan uh, quite a few people online have done this already so uh, I'm not going to fix something that's not broken reinvent the wheel etc we're talking a um, low capacity lipo that fits in the battery tray already without having to cut away too much plastic we're going to put a digital servo uh, for the steering and basically just go through and tighten everything up the body's quite loose uh, the front bumper is quite loose I'm amazed that it hasn't had the sides knocked off it like just about every example of this truck has um, and then obviously um, a, a modern electronic speedo and it would be all proportional. Would you go brushless in one of these? It's not what it's about, honestly. If you if you were going brushless you'd want to be going something that's um, really high torque, low speed because it's more of a crawling kind of scale truck and that's how it would be driven. It's not the kind of thing that you want to go out and, and just flog as fast as you can because to be honest it's it's not built for that and it's going to explode when it hits something anyway let's take the top off and have a look what's inside all right so there's two screws on the back in the in the bed there there's two screws underneath just in front of the rear wheels sorry that's out of focus and then once that's done The top just comes off like that. And we've got the antenna there that's kind of holding everything in place. I'll we'll just loosen that off. And the body's off just like that. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, I can see someone's tried to do something here with the switch, it was actually upside down in there. Um, maybe the switching switch mount hole there is um, stripped but anyway it's pretty much all going um, and it's kind of got a good spot there for a front servo so I'm, I think that's going to be a really easy installation and other than that plenty of room for the receiver plenty of room for the ESC I'm going to get to work and start tidying this uh, this guy up on top of on top of all the electronics um, updates obviously I'm gonna give it a really good clean and and try and restore these tires a little bit I'm really lucky they're not cracked but um, I think we could get them looking a bit better